I just want to give you some idea of the scale of these beautiful plants that Darwin was looking at. They would be no bigger than about the area inside my fingers. So this kind of search would entail Darwin coming very closely to, to the spongy sodden surface and really looking at these plants. The interesting thing for us today, looking back on what Darwin did, is he actually removed specimens from Keston and took them home. Now my question to you is, do scientists today do the same type of procedure? Or are there issues around conservation and preservation that Darwin as a Victorian scientist wouldn't have been so familiar with?